Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Four killed as gunmen clash with security operatives in Anambra. Yes, it happened in Anambra. Talking about Agolo Zibo. Yes, community in another local government area of Anambra State. Yes, it happened that place that the police and the gunmen exchanged fire. There was pandemonium in that community. Early this morning, yes, today, gunmen and police exchanged gunfire. In that issuing gunfire, police lost four of their operatives. Four of the operatives were killed. Yes, so the police succumbed to the, the, the superior power of the gunmen. Even after reinforcement, the police reinforced. They made call for reinforcement and more, you know, equipment and men were sent to boost, to bolster their, their strength. Yet, they lost four of their operatives. Four officers were killed in Anambra, Agulizibo community. So this is what happened in Anambra today. Today. So what are we not talking about? Even the police spokesperson have said it is true. But whether they said it is true or not, we have confirmed the incident. It happened. Dojku Ikenga is the spokesperson of the police. That is the police uh, public relations uh, officer. Yes, PPRO. Alright. So that is it. We don't talk them. They will continue to meet mayhem. They will continue to meet their Waterloo. Yes. This one is morning. We never reach afternoon. Or how much more night? Now morning we still there so we have said it. Release Mazinam the Khan. For peace to reign. Yes. You have seen it. No civilian casualty recorded. No civilian casualty. The people they are careful. Meticulous in the operation. This government. Sincerely speaking. They are defending the people. Sincerely speaking. Yes. We have been saying the atrocities of the place in the southeast. Not just in Imo, but in Anambra. Go to Ebony, the same thing. Go to Enugu, the same thing. In Abia, no different. Same story. Yes, and so that is what the people are passing through in the hands of this uh, secret agents, police, army, Kotima, civil defense, all of them, DSS, immigration, both military and paramilitary, Nigerian agents, they are committing genocide in the southeast. So this government said, look, no, this genocide must stop. And they're operating to defend the people. When you look at the operation of this gunman, yes, you notice that whenever they strike, you wouldn't notice civilian casualty. Why? Why? Because they are meticulous. Yes. Those who are causing you know, trouble, destroying lives and property in the region, in the guise of, oh, we are fighting IPOB. We are trying to suppress, you know, Biafra agitators. Want to repress those who are chasing for freedom. Oh, in the guise of, oh, we are fighting ESN. So what's happening? Oh, in the guise of fighting sit at home, they are killing people extrajudicially. Forceful disappearances. So it happened in Anambra. We reported what that happened in Imo State. Yes, in Imbis. Eh? Barely 24 hours. You, you see this one, what that happened now for Anambra State. Barely 24 hours. It goes a long way to tell you that what you have said is true. Yes. When you beat a child, you want to tell the child the mode of crying. It's a lie. It's a lie. We talk them, say we talk, we talk, we continue. Until they resign the decision of tormenting the people of the South East, of incarcerating the leader of the IPOB, who did nothing wrong, so that he was agitating for the freedom of his own people. Yes, until they release him, 
until they do what the court have said, until they obey the court of the uh, court of the uh, you know competent jurisdiction. Yes, their own laws, the court made judgment. Yes, based on the laws of the land, the laws of Nigerian government. Yet they fails to respect the court. So what are we not talking about? What they bargain for is what they have gotten. Simple. So let the police go to that place, all right, and go and take, you know, what has been kept for them. The police authority should go to that place, all right? Yes. 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 Since they said they will have the people will have no peace, they will continue to receive water, water. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy. Yes, BLA have not started. Yes, when the BLA will start the operation, of course, you know that one army. Yes, the soldiers will they commit genocide, will they aid and abet full and henchmen to kill the people of the South Kids zone. Yes, and then be there, you know. Yes, not them. The soldiers, where they commit genocide. The Fulani terrorists, where they join military. Boko Haram, Boko Haram people, where join military. They come south east to commit genocide, to continue what they stopped, you know, or what they said they stopped in 1970, whereas right? they didn't stop anything. They have been looking for opportunity to come back and continue from where they stopped. Yes, fortunately, unfortunately, what we have seen in the renewed agitation for Biafra referendum has given them leeway to come to the southeast to commit genocide, to continue from where they stopped. Yes, but the forces in the region fighting them, waging war against them. So BLA never starts their own uh, soldier. We don't talk about. So by this one, uh, police, yes, new Woji they cause extrajudicial killings, torment young people, extort them. Motorists, innocent persons, innocent travelers, extort them. All right, committing all manner of atrocities, intimidation, harassment, and abuse. Yes, human rights abuses, police carry it out. Yes, gross violation of people's rights. That's what we have been seeing in the Southeast. Police committing these crimes. That is it. So, no mercy. Bale, Ndono. Yes. Now, what did they tell them? Sorry. Sorry, Ndowoji. Water, water continues until you did the needful. 